Hello, Honors Chemistry students. Today I would like to review with you the first of many, many problems on stoichiometry that you're going to solve in Honors Chemistry. Stoichiometry is a topic which really involves proportional thinking, just as you would in a kitchen. And it involves establishing mathematical relationships between reactants and their products. And in essence, it's based on proportional reasoning. The first problem that I would like you to examine today is a mole mole problem in which you're given moles of product and asked to determine how many moles of reactant that you need to produce that product. And the problem reads as follows. The formation of, formation of aluminum oxide Al2O3 from its constituent elements is represented by the equation. Four moles of aluminum solid react with three moles of oxygen gas to produce two moles of aluminum oxide, which is also a solid. Now, if you look at this reaction, this reaction should look familiar to you because it should appear as if it's a direct combination reaction in which a metal, aluminum, reacts with a non-metal oxygen to produce a solid formula unit, Al2O3, which is held together by ionic bonds. At the outset, there's another way to really read this expression too, or this chemical equation. And one way you could read it is that there's four atoms of aluminum, react with three molecules of oxygen gas to produce two formula units of aluminum oxide. The alternative way to read it is that there are four moles of aluminum atoms react with three moles of oxygen molecules to produce two moles of aluminum oxide formula units. An understanding of these mathematical relationships is key to understanding how to solve this problem, which reads how many moles of aluminum are needed to form 2.3 moles of aluminum oxide. So as you set out to solve this, just as you would any other problem that we work on, I require you to solve these using the known unknown solution style of problem solving. And in essence, the first thing that you're asked to determine is how many moles of aluminum, which would go in the unknown because that's what you need to know. And it should be stated that moles of aluminum are expressed in units of MOL of aluminum. And you need to know how many moles of aluminum are needed to form 2.3 moles of aluminum oxide. So you know that you're told that you have to produce a given number of moles of aluminum oxide, which is 2.3 moles of Al2O3. So in essence, you've got to determine how are you gonna convert moles of aluminum oxide to moles of aluminum. In other words, if you need to produce 2.3 moles of aluminum oxide, how many moles of aluminum are required as a reactant. To do that, we're going to examine the mole ratio between aluminum oxide and aluminum. And when you examine that mole ratio, we can clearly see that in the balanced chemical reaction, that there are four moles of aluminum that are consumed to produce two moles of aluminum oxide. Two moles of Al2O3. That equivalent is the basis for the mole ratio between aluminum and Al2O3. So therefore, this problem belongs to a general class of problems known as mole-mole problems because you're converting moles of product to moles of reactant. And to do so, you need to set up a solution and your solution pathway involves converting moles of Al2O3 to moles of aluminum. 
And the bridge between moles of Al203 and moles of aluminum is what we affectionately refer to as the stoichiometric ratio. In other words, that four moles of aluminum are required to be consumed to produce two moles of aluminum oxide. So that's the pathway through which we're going to go to solve this problem. So the first thing we need to do here is essentially to calculate the moles of aluminum that are required to produce 2.3 moles of aluminum oxide. So we're looking for moles of aluminum and some units of moles of aluminum. You always start with the pieces of information that you've been given. For example, you've been told that you need to produce 2.3 moles of aluminum oxide. So somehow you have to go from moles of aluminum oxide to moles of aluminum. Keep in mind in dimensional analysis, whatever unit you want to eliminate, you put in the denominator. So our denominator is going to have moles of Al203. So we have this conversion factor in which two moles of Al203 are produced for every four moles of aluminum that are consumed. You can easily see that moles of aluminum oxide cancel out. And so then we're left with a simple calculation of multiplying 2.3 by 4. And in essence, we'll take out our calculator here and simply multiply 2.3 moles of aluminum oxide times 4 moles of aluminum divided by 2 moles of aluminum oxide. And we get a value of 4.6. So therefore, we know that 4.6 moles of aluminum are required to produce 2 moles of Al203. So this ratio of 4 moles of aluminum produced, I'm sorry, 4 moles of aluminum consumed to 2 moles of aluminum oxide produced is what we affectionately refer to as our stoichiometric ratio, which draws a relationship between the amount of a reactant consumed to produce a given number of moles of product. And you can simply see that the ratio four to two is essentially a multiple of two. So therefore we need twice as much aluminum to produce half as much aluminum oxide. And so in essence, this problem is based totally on proportional reasoning. And that's how you convert moles of aluminum oxide to moles of aluminum using a stoichiometric ratio.